Okay, now we're going to do a bit of pivot tables. If we zoom back, so you can see your table here. Now, this exercise can be find, found on the page that you found this video. It's just pivot tables exercise file. You may need to use the need to use the scroll bar here to scroll up to the top. And uh, this is the table from which we can create our pivot table. Now, initially, what is a pivot table? Well, it's just a way of presenting a data. It is a table. Why would you need to use it? Well, say if you've got data like this, it's a typical way. Uh, when you get data from a database, it looks sort of like this. You've got column headers, but a lot of information, a lot of information being repeated, as you can see with the categories uh, there as well. It's pretty ugly. It's pretty difficult to present. So you can use a pivot table to summarize certain amounts of data to know how much, how many books we sold, how many DVDs we sold, how many of each product we sold. So we can get a lot of this information from the pivot table. Now, before you create your pivot table, you must make sure you're on the data somewhere. So make sure you click on a cell in your data. Don't be clicking out here. Clicking on a cell in your data, like so. And then that way, when you come to create your pivot table, it will automatically select all the data that you need. Uh, the second thing, just to be aware of, that if your data is consistent, say you've typed the data in, you must make sure you're consistent. You see how the books are always the same. I haven't put apostrophes in or add any spaces or or uh, anything else at all, DVD, I haven't put apostrophe S or anything, it's got to be consistent. Same with uh, the book names, if i got Fabulous Bookstore here, Fabulous, make sure it's spelt right, everything is consistent before you create your pivot table. So now, you've got the data selected here, what I'm just going to do is zoom in a little bit. That's good, make sure I click on a cell and then I go up to insert and pivot table to insert the pivot table. See the data is already selected, notice the dollar signs in here you may have seen from our absolute references video. If you haven't seen that then I suggest that you look at that. Click on OK and then we've created a new sheet uh, with the pivot table on. Okay, yours might say sheet 6, yours might say, say sheet 5 or however attempts you've tried uh, in doing this. Um, okay, make sure your pivot table selected. So don't click out here. If you click out here, notice your pivot table fields have disappeared. Let me just zoom out so I can show you that. Notice there's no pivot table fields. If I click on the pivot table, the pivot table fields appears on the right hand side. That's bad. That's good. So make sure you're on the pivot table. That's good. I think I've labored that point enough. So what we're going to do is now you've got checkboxes here you can check, but what I'm going to do is I suggest that you drag. So if you click and hold down quantity and drag it to values and let go you can see you've got sum of quantity here and then up here you can see the sum of the total amount of DVDs books everything we sold is 3316 but say we want to break it down by something more let's say break it down by category so if we drag category into the rows box have a look back and you see it breaks it down by rows and DVDs there 1296 um, uh, books, sorry, and DVDs, 296 books, 2020 DVDs, that will make it uh, 3,316. Let's break it down one more time. If we go up and find company name and drag company name down to just beneath category in the same box, in the rows box. And if we look that, you can see we've got books, totals at the top, but in the breakdown of each company, each company and how many each one of those bought. So we can get a good idea that this table here is much better than this data here. Let's go back to the pivot table. So once you've got the pivot table selected, there's a certain amount of options you've got uh, available to you. If you go back up to the top here, um, you've got the design tab. So make sure you click on the design tab. And then if you go back, we've got options for, let's say, subtotals. Show all subtotals at bottom of group. So if we click on that, you see the subtotals that were at the top and now at the bottom. That's what I prefer there. Also, we want a little bit of a gap between books total and DVD. Add a blank line between it. So if we click on blank rows and then insert blank line after each item, and down here you can see we've got our gap. Okay, just zooming back one more time there. What we can do is change the pivot table styles. So if we click on the styles drop down menu, you can just hover over each style here. You've got for your pastel shades here, your medium styles here. Let's just scroll down a little bit. And then you can see, as I'm hovering over each one of these styles, they're changing. The pivot table actually changes. So I'm going to go to my favorite dark orange here. Give it a click. And you can see our pivot table there is the dark ar uh, orange. And what we're finally going to do is we're going to do a little bit of the filtering. Notice you've got row labels here. 
Say for instance we're just interested in Hooray Henry. So we can click on the drop down list for row uh, labels. You see the fields category. Well I'm going to change that to company name. And at the bottom here you can see you've got various other sort of books available. Uh, so there's different uh, companies available. I'm going to untick select all and just check Hooray Henry because they're that's the only customer I'm interested in. I click on OK. My pivot table then just reflects the sales for Hooray Henry. I sold 234 books to Hooray Henry and 404 DVDs with a total of 638. To bring that back, click on the drop down list uh, here. Uh, make sure we select company name and then we're going to clear the filter from company name and we can see all of the details again. There will be more to pivot tables as we uh, as we go on. But uh, that's all for now. If you want more information, please uh, see www.computertutoring.co.uk.